So I'm just going to run you through the binomial probability formula here. Now it's a really, really ugly formula, um, but once, you, once you've used it a couple of times, it starts to make a bit of sense. Okay, so the formula looks like this. I'm just going to write it down and then I'm going to talk you through each step. Okay, you've probably never seen algebra that ugly before, but don't freak out just yet because it's not too bad. Uh, now this says the probability of X successes, so in this case two successes, from seven trials, N is for trials, uh, when the probability of your success, remember we said that your probability for an individual success was 0 0.3 success probability. That's on each individual individual attempt at the basket. You have a 0.3% chance. Sorry, a 0.3 chance, a 30% chance. Okay, this NCR number means the number of different ways that can happen. And you already know that you can use Pascal's triangle to figure out NCR. So I'll run through that again. Times the probability of success, P stands for probability of success, to the power of X. X is the uh, number of successes, 2, times Q. Q stands for the probability of failure to the power of N minus X. Uh, the number of trials minus the number of successes. That's actually the number of failures. Okay, so I'm going to annotate this and then you guys can take some notes. Okay, so make sure you take some notes here, but I'm just going to run through it one more time. The probability of X successes, two successes from seven trials, that's N for trials, if the probability of success is 0 0.3, is equal to combinations from Pascal's triangle, so you figure out how many different ways that can happen, multiplied by the probability of success to the power of the number of different success, oh, sorry, the number of successes you would like to have, in this case two successes, multiplied the probability of failure. Now if the probability of success is 0 0.3, the probability of failure is the opposite of that, 0 0.7 or the complement of that, to the power of, now n minus x just stands for the number of failures. So if we're having two successes and we've got seven trials, then the probability of failures is 5. Alright, I'm going to run through the working now uh, in a new video.